Hi vlog, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hi welcome, my name is Megan, and today's video we're going to do a little day in the life, packing, prepping for a vacation, maybe I'll finish this video up on Thursday right before I travel, but I wanted to start it today because I have a busy day tomorrow, so today is going to be kind of like a getting everything in order before I go to Florida. I'm so excited. I have another fun month of travel this upcoming month. I am just starting off this vlog strong. We're going to be doing some content for Honor. They are having a Black Friday sale and they asked me to shoot some specific content for them for the website and the Instagram. So that is what I'm going to be doing first and foremost today. That's why I have some makeup on, just some light makeup. And I straighten my hair. So they wanted me to shoot in this outfit so i just have like blue leggings this crop jacket this sports bra moment and then some socks if that gives you guys a little sneak peek into what might be going on sale i'm so excited for that i know you guys have been wanting a sale so i am gonna go and shoot some of this content i'm gonna go to the gym wear this for a workout then we'll come back here and get packing and prepping and planning for my quick trip to florida which i'll fill you guys in on like what we're doing and everything later all right you guys i am back from the gym i had such a good workout and now i am going to be showing you guys a little package i got in the mail but first i want to talk about my trip that i'm going on this weekend it's a very quick allegiant sleigh allegiant has flights from dc where i live to sarasota where my best friend lives for the low low this flight i'm not even kidding i got it for 61 dollars round trip which is unheard of so 30 dollars each way i didn't pick a seat i didn't get a carry-on that's gonna be the second part of the video was trying to find things to pack that can stay nice and small to fit in a backpack but we'll cross that road when we get there i am really looking forward to it and so i got us little gifts Ana Luisa is the sponsor of today's video they are so so amazing I've worked with them on a few occasions now and I still use all of their jewelry I got jewelry on my like first ever collab with them I want to say it was like two years ago and I got these super cute earrings necklaces I wear them all the time and they haven't tarnished they're such good quality and really still good in terms of affordability because jewelry can be so expensive you guys I feel like jewelry is such a good safe gift option as well with like holidays coming up so since I'm not sure if I'm I'm gonna see my besties for the holidays i wanted to get us a cute little gift shout out to Ana Luisa for sending these over to us so that i can give them to them i'm gonna insert their reaction to this after me talking right now so you guys can see it in this video i got all of us little matching like not matching but everyone's initial on a necklace in a matching shade so i got the a for miss amanda so stinking cute the k for Katie. So stinking cute. And then for me, obviously I got the M. What is this? What is this? Ooh. Anna Luisa. I'm so happy. <laughs> it's like a little trio sleigh. Oh my god. And I was like, we should all yeah, wear Yeah, we should. So that's why I made it. This is so cute. <laughs> It's like a little environment friendly. Environment friendly. Is this the right direction? No. Thank you. I love this. Yeah, of course. It's Cam. K-A-M. K-A-M. So if you guys want to get some jewelry either for yourself or as a gift for your besties or your mom or any person in your life that you just think would love a cute little heartfelt gift like this, I do have an Ana Luisa link that you guys can shop. It will save you some money and also commissions to me. I'll pop it on the screen and I'll have it down below as well for you guys to shop. It is my Instagram username, which is at legswithschmegs. Go follow me on Instagram if you don't already. I made a list of everything that I want to bring. And I basically have put together all of the clothing things behind me. And I have my list right here. And then I'll obviously have to grab like electronics, last minute things, which I'll either do later tonight or I'll probably just do the day before since I still have two days. You guys know me, I'm not chill and I like to pack two days before I need to. So I'm just gonna run through like everything that I'm bringing cause it's really not a lot. I actually feel like because there's limited space, we're going to Florida, which is smaller clothing items than you need when it's cold. And then because we have like a really strict itinerary of the things we're doing that it was actually really easy to pull everything together so that is good i'm just bringing one pair of like pajamas so pajama shorts pajama t-shirt if i can fit two t-shirts i'll bring them but i'm not pressed because katie has like a ton of stuff we can borrow as well one bikini for the beach day and then i got this mid axi dress it's so stinking cute so comfy so stretchy so flattering it's literally from amazon i'll put the link down below it's just like a striped ribbed material very very stretchy has a little cutout at the middle 
and then it just goes all the way down to like ankle length so i'm gonna wear this with my white birkenstocks as like my cute little beach dinner outfit when we go out to eat then i have my harry potter day outfit which is gonna be very cozy because her house to Orlando is like two-ish hours, so we're going to be in the car. Then we're going to be walking around the park all day, so we just want to be as cozy as possible. I have this just like gray high neck ribbed tank top and then these gray honor shorts that I wear all the time. I just feel like a little grout fit moment is super cute. And then I'm bringing my gray and my white headbands. I don't know which one's going to look cuter. Just for like the little egghead hairstyle I've been doing, I feel like it looks really cute. Keeps my hair out of my face and... Is also just like nice and comfy for a long day. Hoka's I'm gonna wear probably on the plane because they're big to pack, but these I'll obviously wear for Harry Potter Day and to the airport. Then I even have my airport fit. I'm trying to decide if I wanna bring my camera or if I just wanna bring my phone. I'm leaning to the phone option just because I feel like every time I bring my camera, I barely use it and then it's like takes up a lot of space. So I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna bring just my phone for YouTube and then my digital camera for like pictures and stuff like that and see how that goes just because I don't have a lot of space. Truly, I don't have a lot of space. I am going to bring my Vouray backpack and I think this will fit a lot. It usually does. Oh, I've been looking for this. This is my Caseify power bank, which is definitely going to come in handy for Harry Potter World. So got to charge that up. Luckily, this was actually a little bit easier than I thought. Sorry in advance, I feel like this is the chattiest vlog ever. Like all I'm doing is yep, 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 yep. But I miss you guys. I haven't talked to you guys in weeks. So I just feel like I have a lot to say and I'd rather talk than like prop my camera up and do a montage of me doing nothing. I have been watching, you guys. I'm going through this really weird era of watching. Like I'm not in the mood to watch videos, like other videos. I'm in the mood to watch music reaction videos. <laughs> which is like really random. I'm not that pressed on music or anything. Let me just prop you guys up. There's these two guys on TikTok. I think their names are like Ashton and Daryl, Darrell. And they came across my For You page one day because they were doing like a reaction to, it was either Olivia Rodrigo or like Sabrina Carpenter or something. So then I went down this rabbit hole of realizing that that was a thing because I just didn't really know like music reactions were that much of a thing. And then I think my phone started to pick up on it so then it went to my computer this other youtube account called turning tables which is like a kid and his 50 year old dad and then they're reacting to olivia rodrigo's new album which like it was so fresh for me so i was like i want to see what other people think of it and so then i went down the rabbit hole of watching so many of their videos because like it's interesting to see the reaction of like a grown parent who has like musical understanding with albums that I really like. So then I started to watch that. Then I came across the Bascom twins who I'm watching right now. They're, I'm watching their reaction to Taylor's new album. Yeah, I just like went down this rabbit hole of watching this and it's really random, but I feel like it's very nostalgic to watch somebody react to a song for the first time that you really like does that make sense like it's kind of like showing your friend a song and you like watch them and you like wait for them to react like it's kind of like that and i don't know why that's been what i want to watch i haven't been watching any shows after suits i got to suits season nine i didn't watch the last season yet because i'm just too lazy to find it on another streaming platform and i just stopped watching shows i feel like i needed a break from watching shows and honestly i'm so unproductive when i watch shows also i've been watching a lot of like normal TV, so I watch The Voice. I'm watching Bachelor in Paradise and then Golden Bachelor, which I'm loving. I think it's just the cutest thing. And I watch that with my mom and then my besties, like I mentioned earlier, we all like do a watch party um, and we text about it as we watch. So with all the live TV I've been watching and then my mom and I always watch Dateline and all that. So I feel like I just haven't been in the mood to start a new show yet. I did watch season three with my mom of Sugar Magnolia, Sweet Magnolias and I really liked that. We watched Virgin River and we're waiting on like the second part to come out. So I've mainly just been watching quick things as opposed to watching full series just because I feel like Suits 
did a number on me but that's just like a random i guess update on things i've been watching and listening to i do have a client call here soon so i think i'm just gonna do some work um work on like editing my workout from today and like the honor content that they were looking for so i can get that sent over to them i'm gonna do that then i'm gonna do my client call then i'm gonna make dinner and watch the voice live but that's your update i'm gonna pick up this phone call do some work maybe we'll check back in tonight or maybe we'll just check back in on thursday okay hi guys it is officially flight day it's thursday i just got my workout in i just got like a little light full body day i just wanted to do like some movement but i really was not in the mood once i got here once i get home i will pack everything up show you guys if everything is fitting in the backpack i have no idea all right y'all it's officially time to get everything all together so here i have my fanny pack i'm gonna bring this to the wizarding world of harry potter <laughs> but right now it has all of my toiletries inside i'm not bringing any sprays anything liquid that should need to come out of my bag so this should fit in here pretty well and then in this guy i'm gonna have all my electronics i still am charging everything up but after i'm gonna put in like my phone charger my portable charger my ipad charger i need to fit my ipad in here that's like my biggest concern I'm gonna wear the claw clip with me so then I can have this for the beach. I'm feeling pretty good. I don't really feel like I'm missing anything. I have my digicam. This will be in the next video as well, but I have my Harry Potter case that I got from Caseify for the occasion. And then I also even got like this phone strap. It's like a leather phone strap that I can use to like wear it on me for when I'm like taking digital pictures, walking around and stuff. So yeah, super excited about this. I'm gonna get this all installed and ready to go. I'm gonna take a shower while everything charges, get ready kind of for the airport, and then do the last minute touches at the very end. It's the moment of truth. Will everything fit? I think it will. I think it's just gonna be a tight squeeze. I always need to bring an emotional support stuffed animal with me to hold on the flight. So Mr. Chonk is the choice. Also because he's the smallest to like really mush in there also let me show you guys my airport fit i have my uniqlo little top that has like a built-in bra which is just so nice for the airport so you don't have to like double layer or anything and then i have my honor active sweats of course my big baggy comfy ones if you guys want to shop honor link is always in the description box below and it supports me if you shop through it. And I'm bringing my Honor cropped sweatshirt for on the plane because it's always chilly. And then I'm wearing my Hoka hotties for the plane and for Universal. So, you guys, this is the sitch. She is stuffed to the freaking brim. We have all of my clothes in here. This is my iPad. This is my fanny pack with all of my toiletries. This is going to have to shove in. And then I don't know how Chonk's going to fit, but he is. Like... We're gonna make this happen, believe that. Thank you guys for joining me on this vlog. I know it was a bit of chaos, but when is it not? When is it not over here? I've missed you guys, and I'm gonna try to vlog a lot over the next month. Love you guys, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys in Florida.